The MyQ app just got better. When you go to the App Store or Google Play to download the MyQ app, look for this new icon. Download the app called MyQ Garage and access control. Setting up your Chamberlain Smart Garage Hub is easy. In this installation overview, we'll walk you through installing the MyQ app, adding the hub to your account, pairing the door sensor, pairing the garage door opener, and installing the hub. Follow the progress menu at the bottom of the screen to see where you are in the setup or if you need to go back and watch a step over again. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the Quick Start Guide for instructions and safety information. Within the U.S., the Smart Garage Hub is not intended for use with garage door openers in which the photoelectric sensors located near the bottom of the garage door change power mode, e.g. lights on the sensors turn off after the door is closed, or any Chamberlain Group opener with a yellow Learn button manufactured between 2010 and 2021, or any linear opener. Warning! To reduce risk of severe injury to persons, do not enable the Smart Garage Hub if operating either a one-piece or swinging door to be enabled only on a sectional door. First, let's get the MyQ app installed on your smartphone. These steps will help both Apple and Android users. Some screens may appear slightly different. Go to the App Store or Google Play and search for MyQ. A few might appear based on the make of your garage door opener. Choose the one called MyQ Garage and Access Control. Go ahead and install that one and launch it. You'll be prompted to either sign in or sign up for a MyQ account. Fill in and submit your information. As a new user, you'll receive an email to complete your registration. Follow the instructions in the email. Then, you'll be able to log into your account on the app. You're in. It's time to get your Smart Garage Hub connected. Let's get started. Choose the Smart Garage Hub. A few things you're going to need are access to a compatible garage door opener, a strong Wi-Fi signal inside your garage, the password for your Wi-Fi network, a ladder and tools for mounting your Smart Garage Hub. Grab the hub and head to the garage. Make sure your garage door is closed. Go ahead and plug in the hub. You should see a blinking blue light. Apple users will scan the serial number label on the back of the hub, or you can type in the serial number manually. Android users will see your hub listed as a discovered device. Tap the hub to continue. All users need to choose your home network. Make sure you enter the correct password for your Wi-Fi network. The LEDs on the hub will begin to flash. When the LED turns solid green, congratulations, you're connected. Now for the door sensor. Make sure you've pulled out the plastic tab for the battery. When prompted, press the button on the door sensor and watch for the red light. You'll press the button on the door sensor again and listen for the beep. The app lets you know pairing was successful. It's time to mount the door sensor. You can watch these steps in a video in the app. Locate the top panel of your garage door. Go ahead and pick the side where you want to mount the door sensor. Wipe the mounting surface with a clean cloth and make sure it's nice and dry. These are your adhesive strips. They're included with the door sensor. Don't separate the strips. We're going to stick them onto the back of the door sensor. Here and here. Peel off the film on one side of each adhesive strip and press firmly to attach them to the door sensor. All set. Now peel off the remaining film. You're ready to mount the sensor to the door. This is important. Find the side of the door sensor marked top. Top must always face up. You'll know you have it right because you'll be able to read the MyQ logo. Press firmly to mount the door sensor onto the garage door. That's it. Now, let's pair your garage door opener to the Smart Garage Hub. Just a heads up, programming will cause the garage door to move. Be sure to keep the path of the garage door clear of people and objects. 
Grab a ladder so you can reach your garage door opener. Select the brand of your garage door opener. If prompted, select the color of the program or learn button on your opener. When prompted, press the program or learn button on your garage door opener just long enough for the light to go on. Holding the program or learn button too long will clear all remote controls from your garage door opener's memory, and we don't want that. When programming is successful, you'll be prompted to enter a name for your garage door opener. Type a name and tap Next. It's time to mount the hub. You'll need to provide a couple of things. A pencil or marker, a Phillips head screwdriver, your trusty drill, safety glasses, a 5 30 seconds drill bit. We've got you covered for the rest. Wall anchors and screws, the mounting bracket for the hub, and of course, the smart garage hub. You'll also need a ladder, unless you're extremely tall. Choose a location that is inside the garage at least six feet above the floor, on the ceiling, sidewalls, or the wall opposite the garage door, at least four feet away from any metal objects, within five feet of an electrical outlet so you can plug the hub in without an extension cord. We'll demonstrate mounting on the ceiling. The light on the Wi-Fi hub signals when the MyQ app is being used to close the door. The hub and light must be visible at all times from within the garage. You'll need to mark the surface, so grab your pencil or marker. The open end of the bracket mounts against the surface. Use the bracket as a template and mark the spots where you'll drill the holes for inserting the wall anchors. Safety first, put on those safety glasses. Now let's drill the holes for the wall anchors. Make sure you drill deep enough for the wall anchors to go all the way in. Use your 5 30 seconds drill bit and drill the spots that you marked. Push the wall anchors all the way into the holes. Make sure they're flush with the surface. Line up the bracket holes to the wall anchors and use the screws to secure the bracket to the surface. Slide the smart garage hub onto the mounting bracket until you feel it snap into place. Plug the cord into the smart garage hub. It looks like we have some extra cord, so let's wrap it around the bracket until we have just enough to reach the outlet. Now, plug the other end of the cord into the power outlet and wait for the solid green LED on your smart garage hub. When you're done, be sure to put the warning label on the wall next to the door control. All users are returned to the device's screen. On the device's screen, the garage door opener will be listed with an icon that shows the position of the garage door and how long it has been in that position. And that's that. Go ahead and tap the garage icon to open and close the garage door and enjoy your success. If you need help troubleshooting any issues, please watch our videos or visit support.chamberlaingroup.com. We'll help you through. Thanks and enjoy your new smart garage.